at a great project going on at the moment in partnership with the Marlborough District Council. We've been looking at the shape and the depth of the sea floor in one of their significant marine sites. This is a site that Marlborough District Council knew nothing about before we surveyed it. And when I say survey, that means popping myself out on a boat and running up and down strips of the seafloor looking at the depth and the shape of it. Well, the first bit is measuring the depth of the seafloor. Now, a lot of people, we can see the land, we can see our hills and our mountains, we can see our lakes. All that happens under the water in the marine realm, as we call it. And so we actually need to go across using sound. And we bounce sound beams down to the seafloor and back, and that gives us the depth and shape. So in this particular area in Marlborough, it's fascinating because it's right in the tidally strong Cook Strait. You've got tides going from the east to the west. 12 hours later, they're going from the west to the east. And we've got fantastic big structures on the seafloor there. So as soon as we have a map of how complex the seafloor is, uh, it gives us a, a chance to now go out and monitor all the diverse animals that live there. We can see sea stars, brittle stars, bryozoans that people in this area actually call corals, but they're actually bryozoans. We, obviously there's groper, a lot of fishermen like the fish holes out around the Marlborough District Council area in Cook Strait. So, and macro algae, great big seaweeds that are living hanging off these rocky cliffs. The next step, having mapped the sea floor and we've seen great big sand dunes, we've seen sand waves, we've seen big holes scoured out of the ocean, is to go back now with video cameras and bottom sampling and actually to capture images of the biology that's living in this fantastic environment.